Here it comes. I love the thing. So, um, mashallah, mashallah, Nile is a little boy who prays five times a day, mashallah. And uh, this is a package that I received from the Salam mat, and it is an educational mat. So, I'll just take you through this product. It is something which I think a lot of parents would need and would love to introduce that to, uh, to your kids as well. What it does is, it, it's an interactive mat, making them punctual in namaz and creating that will inside them to pray. This is an interactive mat, which is actually genuinely very good for your kids. It comes in different languages. There's an audio system in it. It, it has sensor. So, if, for example, if a child is standing in um, the standing position, or in the ruku position, or in the sajda position, where uh, there are marks where they can put their hands, their nose, their head. So every time the sensor senses uh, the body, it recites the dua that is supposed to be recited in the sajda or in the ruku or while standing. So um, also this comes in seven different languages. So English, French, Arabic, Urdu, Malaysian, Turkish and... So this is the entire, you can say a blueprint of the praying mat. It, it, it explains each and every button and the code and these codes are well explained right on the next page so for example the functions key uh, c6 and c5 are the two knee sensors so you can sense here this is where the child is going to place his knees this is the shin area and these are the feet what is shin i'll explain it to you in a bit and also uh, these key features, uh, the key words, Fajr, Zohar, the, the prayer time, the wudu and the dua that is included in the wudu is also recited if you press B1. So, Nan, can you help me find B1? Okay, okay, okay. B1. Yes, so when you press this, this it recites the dua that you need to pray when you're doing your wudu. And uh, similarly, if you press this, it recites the intention that is it's very used to use the salah mat. So step one is to follow A1 to A5 to find what prayer you will perform. So A1 to A5 tells you what prayer you're going to pray. So you press that, for example, if you're going to go for a Fajr prayer, you press A1 and automatically it sets up to two sunnah and two fard. So accordingly, the surah and the number of rakat will be placed. Step two, it tells you to follow BO, B0 to B33. So B0, from Wudu to Qibla to Azan to Niya, Takbir, Qiyam, everything until B33, all the way down till the Dua, till the end. Yeah. Guys, so now I'm going to show you my new Salama. Let's So what do you do before you get on a salah mat? The first step, what does it say, Nile? The first one. After start, what is the first word? What does it say? Um, wudu. Yes, so you cannot stand on a salah mat without doing your wudu. So I'm going to go take you through the manual and um, we will start using the mat right away. Also tells you um, how to locate your moves. So these are the instructions that you need to keep in mind. Where you put your left foot, where you put your right foot. Your eyes are looking on C1. So what is C1? C1 is the Qibla. When we are praying, we are always looking down, right? So our mat is all ready. We were waiting for the batteries to come. So it operates with battery. You put three double A size battery in this and it's all set to start. So I'm going to turn the power on. So once we start, we have to select which prayer we're going to pray so that it sets the number of rakats. Asr, 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 asr. So, asr, asr. 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 It tells you about Asr prayer.
So quickly I wanted to update something. Um, this Salah mat is designed to uh, pray two raka at a time and uh, because if the child once the child learns to pray two raka then automatically the next two raka they will know how to do it. So this is a, a, actually designed to recite two raka at a time and another thing is um, if we step on the Salah mat and press any of the buttons it's gonna start away uh, it's, a, it's gonna straight away go and begin the namaz. But if we step down and then press uh, Vudu, Qibla or Adhan or Intention, then it tells you um, what these things mean. So as soon as the sensor gets the footsteps on the mat, it, in the, it uh, gets the idea that you're ready to pray and it immediately starts the Raka. I wanted to update this. I think I missed it in my previous uh, stories. So yeah.